RFK Jr. Uh, chose Nicole Shanahan as his vice president. There's a lot of hoopla. I personally like the guy. I'm not sure I like this pick. What are your thoughts on Nicole Shanahan, knowing that she used to be married to, Serge, I believe, Sergey Brim, one of the co-founders of Google, but also she's been known to donate to some liberal causes, Pete Buttigieg most recently, and also George Gascon, the uh, prosecu liberal prosecutor uh, in, in California who was high, highly uh, hit for letting criminals loose on the streets. Yeah. One thing we know about the vice presidential pick uh, is that she is a dyed-in-the-wool liberal. No matter what else you think about her, no matter how good her story might be, the bottom line is simply this. She believes America is only better if we change who we are. She believes that fighting for a redistribution of wealth is a key component of what makes America great. I believe that me working my tail off 24 hours a day sometimes, 12 hours a day sometimes, and thank God for eight hours a day. The bottom line is simply this. The ability to rise beyond my circumstances is because my forefathers and our nation's founding fathers had one thing in common. Hard work should pay off. And it did. I'm living, breathing testament to the fact that if you work hard, you get lucky. Bottom line is this. No matter who you choose, RFK is your vice presidential choice. If they or if she believes in socialism, if she believes in redistribution, if she believes in chaos and not law and order, it is the wrong direction for our nation. So, so let me ask you this, this, sir. Let me, let me, allow me to ask you this. Um, look, I like RFK. I, I even see the two of them. They, they kind of look together, good together. But here's my point. Doesn't this help Donald Trump in the general election? Because he chose someone who would be more appealing to the Democrats, certainly, than, than Republicans. So oh, no doesn't doubt. this help Trump more? Well, here's what I know for sure. We need four more years of Donald Trump, and the way we get there is very important. What we do realize is having that third-party candidate on the ballot, no matter the choice of vice president, is going to bleed vo votes from the Democrats. That's why they are scurrying around, running ads in Detroit, trying to keep black voters in Detroit loyal to the Democrat Party. It's just not working. It's why President Donald Trump has a 50-state strategy. He wants us campaigning in Detroit and in Chicago and Minneapolis and Cleveland and, of course, in the rural parts of our country. What he wants is a unified country where people who work hard, they're the ones that get lucky. That's what President Donald Trump wants. He wants four more years of having the type of prosperity where the economy grows in the private sector and inflation stays at 2%. That happens when you yeah, understand that, that did the private happen. sector yeah, it's, where you it, you, know, jobs. It, it, you, you make such a great point, Senator. We forget. We're talking about it's nine percent inflation with, with Biden. And, oh, it's down to it was six and it was better in the now it's down to three and a half. Like Trump left at one point four percent inflation rate. That's insane.